Hello everybody, it's Paul's Ranger today. We're going to look at the teaser image on Scott Games' website. So I managed to get access to it finally this afternoon and it was a pain in the ass in the morning. It was still flooded but you should have a chance now to have a look on the site. A link will be in the description to the site. And what's my theory on this teaser image? Well as we know, as you brighten the image up it says Nightmare. So we could say this animatronic's name is Nightmare. Now by the look of it, he looks more a bit like Springtrap. He's withered, there's lots of lots of sharp stuff that he can gouge out eyes and kill people. And his eye sockets look like spring traps, exactly. Now we don't know if this character originates of Fredbear, Freddy, but to me, as there's no freckles, this could be Gen 1 Freddy, or let's say Freddy Fazbear, the first one, the withered one from Five Nights at Freddy's 2. Obviously the head, a bit, but with major changes. Now, maybe there could be a living person inside of it, and the exoskeleton. So, we could say that we could be dealing with a killer. But the problem is that we can see an exoskeleton and this animatronic has three fingers and a thumb so obviously it cannot support people. So Springlock stands out of the door. It has the Freddy hat so this is, must be one of the Freddies. But why would it have three little extra heads that we do not know? We do know that Scott's going to release this in Halloween. So we have about six-ish months to wait. By then we could see teaser trailers, probably one near to October, or maybe in the middle, and teaser images. At first, we f at first I thought this was something that somebody made, like one of those fake ones, but this is totally different to the other images that Scott's uploaded. Particularly with the Five Nights 2, they look more cartoony, they don't look that scary that much, but this, Scott has gone all out. Now we could say he's been developing it since he released Five Nights at Freddy's 3. So obviously he must have gave him a head start and then probably decided to release it on Halloween. But back to the theory. This could be more or less first generation Freddy Fazbear, maybe a failure, a fail attempt to uh, make him Freddy Fazbear, or it could be from Five Nights 1, and I don't know, but somebody has made this animatronic, made it scary for probably for an older audience, but it's withered, it's old, and it's so dangerous, I think that it must have been left behind, like Springtrap. The costume was locked up, forgotten, and maybe this animatronic was evolved with the bite of 87. No wonder they were trying to hide it. The worrying thing is that, look at it, it's looking more human-like, and animatronic doesn't pull a hat like that. So maybe this is more of the future, maybe it's a sequel, or maybe it's Purple Guy, but his soul's transferred to this animatronic, and he has a big advantage. Or maybe it's the pink guy returning. We do not know. And first things first, I don't know if this will be the last Five Nights at Freddy's games. Remember how we thought the third one was the, gonna be the end? And it wasn't. So guys, keep an eye out. If it looks like it's gonna be the end, just give it a month or two. And if there's something pops up, a new image, well, let's say Scott knows what he's doing. But, we got until Halloween, and I'm looking forward to it. But for that really that said, I can't really wait. But, I hope Scott releases a very good trailer, hopefully a one in more depth. It does make sense with the teaser trailer, because that more was showed of the end for Five Nights Free. But, because that game had two endings, Maybe Scott has taken the approach of we're going to the bad ending. 
just like Metro Last Light in 2033, they have both endings, and I will connect these. So maybe Scott is decided to connect, you know, maybe in the Metro 2033 ending that you have two choices and they give two results for two different timelines. Like, in Metro 2033, sparing the Dark Ones with a whole, the whole different Metro game, killing them with a result to the Last Light series. So maybe Scott is going, well, the good ending, Purple Guy is probably dead, well, yeah, he's probably more or less dead. But the and the children at rest, but the bad ending he's still alive. The kids are not at rest. So maybe Purple Guy did die. The body and everything did burn and it's just the head. Maybe his soul quickly converted to a to this animatronic and that's what we know. But thank you very much guys for watching. I will see you next time.